Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I received many requests from students on how to find matured value if it's compounded monthly, quarterly and half yearly. Therefore, in this video, I've included 5 sample questions which you can take as reference for your revision. Before we hit the questions, let's look at this formula. The formula to calculate matured value is mv equals to p bracket 1 plus r over n, the whole thing to the power of nt, whereby mv stands for matured value, which is the principal plus compound interest, and then p is principal, which is the money that you deposit at first, and r is yearly interest in percentage, n is the number of times the interest is compounded per year, so if it's compounded monthly, n is 12 because one year we have 12 months. And then quarterly, okay, quarter means 1 over 4, therefore n is 4. And half yearly, so half is 1 over 2, therefore n is equal to 2. And t is equal to time in years. So let's look at question number 1. Rose saves 20,000 ringgit in a bank which offers interest rate 3% per annum. Calculate the matured value after 5 years compounded monthly. So here our principal is 20,000, then interest rate is 0 0.03, and then calculate the matured value after 5 years, so t is 5, and compounded monthly, which means that our n is equal to 12. So we're going to write down all the information given, so p, r, n, and t. So p is 20,000, and then r is 0 0.03, n is 12 and t is 5 years okay so we're going to put into the formula so mv equals to p 1 plus r over n the whole thing to the power of n t so equals to so p is 20,000 then 1 plus so r is 0 0.03 over so n is 12 and then to the power of n which is 12 and then t is 5 Okay, let's calculate this using the calculator. Okay, so here we have, okay, so 1 plus 0 0.03 over 12. So I'm going to calculate 0 0.03, then divided by 12 first, equals, and then plus 1, then equals, okay, and then to the power of, so 12 times 5 is 60. So 60, so equals, and then multiply with 20,000, 20. 000, two, zero. 0, 0, 0. Okay? So we will get 2332.34. Okay? So 2332.34 and the unit is in RM. And this is the answer. Let's look at question number 2. Jessica saves 6,000 ringgit in a bank which offers interest rate 5% per annum. Calculate the matured value after 4 years compounded monthly. So P is 6,000. Interest rate 0 0.05. Calculate matured value after 4 years. So this is T equals to 4. Compounded monthly which means that our N is equal to 12. So we're going to list down what are our P, R, N and T. So P is principal which is 6,000. R is 0 0.05, N is 12, and T is 4. So we're going to substitute all this information into the formula of MV. Equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N, whole thing to the power of N T. So P is 6,000, then 1 plus 0 0.05, N is 12, then to the power of 12, and then T is 4. So let's calculate this using the calculator. Okay, so... We are going to calculate the one in the bracket first. So 0 0.05 divided by 12 and then plus 1. Okay, and then to the power of, so 12 times 4 is 48. So equals, and then we multiply with 6,000. So times 6,000. So equals. So the answer is 7325.37. So 7325.37. And the unit is in RM. And this is the answer. Let's look at question number 3. Calculate the matured value for 16,000 ringgit saving for 6 years with an interest rate 4% per annum compounded quarterly. So we've got to calculate the MV. 
Principal is 16,000. This is the year's T is 6 and interest rate R is 0 0.04 compounded quarterly, which means that N is equal to 4. So we list down all the information given. So P, R, N, and T. So P is 16,000 and then R is 0 0.04 and then N is equals to 4 and T is equals to 6. Okay, so we're going to put into the formula MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N whole thing to the power of N T. So P is 16,000 then 1 plus R is 0 0.04 over N is 4 then to the power of 4 times 6. Okay, now let's calculate with the calculator. So here we have, uh, we're going to calculate the one in the bracket first. So 0 0.04 divided by 4 and then after that plus 1 and then to the power of 24 and then after that multiply with 16,000. Okay, so the answer is 20315.75. So 20315.75 and the unit is in RM. So that's the answer. Let's look at question number 4. Calculate the matured value for 12,000 ringgit saving for 5 years with an interest rate 4% per annum compounded half yearly. So we're going to calculate the MV. The principal is 12,000. Then 5 years, it means that the T is 5. Interest rate R is 0 0.04. And then half yearly, it means that the N is equal to 2. So we list down the P, R, N and T here. So principal is 12,000. And then R is 0 0.04. And then N is equal to 2. And T is equal to 5. So we're going to put into the formula, which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of nt. So equals, principal is 12,000 and then 1 plus 0 0.04 over n is 2 and to the power of, so 2 and then t is 5. So equals, okay, let's calculate this with the calculator. Okay, so we're going to calculate inside the bracket first. So 0 0.04 divided by 2 and then plus 1 and then to the power of 10, because 2 times 5 is 10, and then multiply with 12,000. Okay, so our answer is 14,627.93. So 14627.93. 14627.93, and the unit is in RM, and this is the answer. Let's look at question number 5. Calculate the matured value, which is the MV, for 1,500 savings, which is the P principal, for two years, so T is 2, interest rate, which is R equals to 0 0.03, and compounded half yearly, which means that N is equal to 2. So now we'll list down all the information given, which is P, R, N, and T. So P is principal, 1,500, and then the R is 0 0.03, and then the N is equals to 2, and then the T is equals to 2 as well. Okay, so now we're going to put into the formula MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of N T. So equals to principal is 1,500 and then 1 plus 0 0.03 over N which is 2 and then to the power of N T means 2 times 2. Okay, let's use the calculator. So we're going to calculate the inside the bracket first. So 0 0.03 then divided by 2 then after that plus 1 and then after that to the power of 4 and then after that multiply by 1500 okay so equals so we get 1592.05 so is 1592.05 and the unit is in rm and this is the answer Well, that's all for now. Let me know in the comments below if you have any difficult topics that you would like me to discuss in my next video. I'll be very glad to help you. So if you think this video is useful, I would appreciate a like from you because it means so much to me. Till then, happy learning!